Hi Capricorn, I'm here to do a reading for you. <clears throat> this reading is just going to focus on what you need to know at this time. Please be aware that the messages may or may not resonate with your situation. So only take the messages if they resonate. Okay, Capricorn. So let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors. <clears throat> what messages do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages do you have for Capricorn, we have here rose quartz. Oh my God, who got this? Um, I don't know. Um, I was it Aquarius? I think Aquarius got this when I did a reading for Aquarius. But this is number fifteen. Rose quartz talks about unconditional love. I believe. Let me go to the book. Because I got love all over me, and baby, you touch every part of me. Yes, this represents unconditional love. Yes. <clears throat> It says Rose Course is full of unconditional love and infinite peace. It draws loving relationships to you, heals past emotional traumas, or provides support during a crisis. So this stone, okay, this could be the energy you're embodying at this time, Capricorn. You are drawing loving relationships to you. Excuse the train in the background. That could be confirmation. It's like your energy of unconditional love is drawing a relationship to you, okay? It's helping you to heal from traumas you may be experiencing in your life or you experienced in the past, okay? It can even provide support to other people during a crisis and even yourself. So you could have went through something, Capricorn, but because you have unconditional love, it's not breaking you. Like something may have came in to try to break you, Capricorn. It's not going to break you, period. We have you are a beautiful soul who has infinite peace deep within and, and enormous empathy. Relationships are where you learn your soul lessons. Heal heartbreak or abuse and dissolve toxic emotions and pain that prevent you from giving and receiving love. So this could be something that you need to do or this is something that you are doing. You're healing heartbreak, okay? You're dissolving toxic emotions and pain, okay? So that you can give love and receive love. It says you have the power to love unconditionally and to support others. So this could be you going through this, all right? You could be like just in a loving energy, or this is something that you need to embody at this time. What the hell is all of this damn noise when I start your reading, Capricorn? That's why I say it's somebody or something trying to just disrupt you in some way. But you have this unconditional love and nothing's going to get in your way. Nothing is going to stop you, okay? It says to forgive yourself. Love and beauty approach. Loneliness is at an end. So if you were lonely then that's about the end, okay, Capricorn? You're not going to be lonely for long. It says emotional blockages dissolve. Do not accept blame. And it's so crazy because right here is the blame card. Don't accept blame. Recognize that unconditional love and friendship draw exactly the right people to you. Once you love yourself, you can give and receive love from others. Support is available in a crisis. So if you're going through a crisis at this time, know that you have support available to you, okay? It says unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself or another. So it's very important for you to not only love others unconditionally, but to also love yourself unconditionally. Yes, I love this energy for you, Capricorn. So let's see here. <clears throat> Thank you for those messages. What else does Capricorn need to know at this time? Well, we have joy and stability, yes. 
And if stability was a sign, it would be Capricorn. You guys are very stable. A stable sign. Let's see here. Holy Spirit. Okay. We have here healing begins. Absolutely. We also have here simply love. This is beautiful. This is two sixes here. So you could, your birthday could be January the 6th. Okay, at the bottom we have here heal. So we have here healing begins and we have here heal. So I feel like you're healing if you're a feminine energy or a woman. Well, I'm not going to say feminine and woman because you could be a masculine and feminine energy. So if you're a woman, you're healing. If you're a man, you're healing. Okay. We have here the solar plexus chakra. We also have here new vitality. Yes, success and growth and teach. Because what I'm, this is, relationships have taught you a lot. What you've been through, it taught you so much, Capricorn. And not only did it teach you, it's helping you to be able to teach others. I feel like people may come to you with their issues. You could be a teacher. You could be connected to a Taurus. Could have Taurus in your chart. But the overall energy is teach. That means you've learned something from what you went through. And now you can help others to go through and help others to be able to overcome crisis. Like maybe you're some type of crisis management or um, a social worker, maybe. I don't know. Because you had a lot of heartache and you had a lot of loss and you went through a lot in your life, Capricorn. But you changed your focus to love. And I feel like you're going to be getting a well-deserved reward as well. I feel like people may put you up on a pedestal or you're going to receive some type of award. You're going to be strengthening bonds with other people in your life. Okay, this I'm getting go out into nature. Yes, but let me go to the book. Let's see here. I want to read Simply Love because I feel like you're here. No, you know what? I want to read Healing Begins too. I'm going to start with Healing Begins. No, I'm going to do Simply Love, y'all. <laughs> Let me do Simply Love. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. A father may be coming together with his son. Or somebody is like, maybe there's a stepdad or something. Like somebody came in and and is helping your son. Like if you have a son or this could be your child's father. Or you could be this father. Okay, Capricorn. But it says... This card represents innocence, nostalgia, kindness, and children. It says, people often fondly remember the innocence of youth as a time when life seemed simpler. This card is a call to action to bring that innocence and energy into the present and into your relationships. As much as you can, interact with others from a pure and open heart, full of love and free of ulterior motives. Do this and you will find that your relationships will deepen and require far less effort. Yeah, because this could be you doing this Capricorn or someone doing this to you. But someone here could have been engaging in relationships just for what that person, what purpose that person could serve. So it could be like, oh, if the person got money, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, let me show them some love so I can get some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like superficial reasons why there was a connection between you and someone else, okay? But it's saying to interact with others from a pure and open heart full of love and free of ulterior motives. Do this and you'll find that your relationships will deepen and require far less effort. Because if you're not really into someone, if you're not doing something out of love, it's like, it's like then it's not going to be easy for you to even maintain that relationship. It says, when you reminisce about your past, bring back only the happy memories and cherish them. So this is the Six of Cups. Give me a second. All right, Capricorn, what was I at? Let me just keep reading. It says, kindness and generosity are at the forefront when this card appears. Look for ways to help family and friends, especially children. Reach out to them and assist them in any way you can. Sometimes just a bit of attention is all someone needs. So someone may want your attention. This could be your child. If you don't have any children, this could be like a niece, a nephew. But somebody's like my favorite auntie. I'm getting my favorite auntie. So you could be some um, a favorite auntie or uncle. And this is like, just give this child attention. They want your attention, Capricorn. It says, 
Where kindness prevails, relationships flourish. And if you're hoping to become pregnant or adopt a child, this card is a positive sign. So if you've been hoping to get pregnant or to adopt a child, then yeah, that's coming. Expect it, Capricorn. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. I do want to take a look at Healing Begins as well. Or should I read Teach? You know what? I'm going to read Teach, number five. So this card represents shepherd advice, learn wisdom, reflection, and beliefs. It says, you have much wisdom to offer regarding affairs of the heart. This wisdom has been gained through all of your joys and sorrows. At this time, there may be an opportunity to assist someone regarding a relationship. That person may even be you. When the opportunity arises, remember the shepherd, one who gently guides his sheep along the desired path. Use that same gentleness in guiding yourself or others. Yes. There may also be an opportunity to learn right now. This could take place in many ways, through conversations, observations, or even reflection. Take a moment to reflect on what you have already learned about your relationships and what you still want or need to understand. Then seek a teacher who will help you arrive at that understanding. It says the downside of the teach car is when our teachers want us to blindly follow their direction. In relationships, this often leads to restrictions and disappointments. These teachers come in many forms, family, friends, society, and so on. If a relationship is not going smoothly, maybe it's time to examine the beliefs you hold about relationships. Are they, your, are they truly your beliefs? Or have you unintentionally accepted the beliefs of others, beliefs that no longer serve you? So, I'm getting here that there could be someone around you that just wants you to follow their lead. And you may not even agree or resonate with what this person is saying in regards to relationships or whatever. Like someone here is trying to tell you how a relationship should go and what role you should play or what role the other person should play. And maybe your relationship that you envision for yourself is nothing like that, but because this person may be older than you or maybe this person has a good relationship and they operate that way. Doesn't mean that that's right for you. So just make sure that you believe what is best for you when it comes to relationships, Capricorn. And there's an affirmation you can say in matters of the heart. I offer what I know, learn what I don't know and remain true to myself. And this is the higher thing. It is important for you to stay true to yourself, especially when it comes to relationships, because you are unique. The way you operate in a relationship is totally different from how Susie or Bobby is going to operate in a relationship. Okay? You may want different things from your partner. You know, certain things you may let fly that this person don't let fly. You know? So, yeah. So, let's just see. Thank you for these messages, Holy Spirit. What else does Capricorn need to know at this time? And this could even be things with yourself. Like things that you allow yourself to do. Somebody may be like, oh, I would never do something like that. Well, I do it. Shit. Like you can't tell me what works for me. And I feel like you can have somebody, maybe a family, a friend, even a partner, like trying to tell you like what you're doing is not the best. It's best for you, Capricorn. So they need to mind their business. That's why I love Tab with the Brown. She'd be like, because <laughs> that's my business. And it, okay, and that's your business. <laughs> so let's see here, Holy Spirit. What else does Capricorn need to know? Yeah, we have your gratitude. It says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. We have here adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And I feel like Capricorn, 
You are thankful for the things that you've been through because it allows you to learn, grow, and evolve. Okay, we have here friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So this could be a friend that was doing this, or you could just be, you know, having new friendship or have a really important friend in your life. This person is in your life for a reason. This could be someone that you can actually help mentor, okay, in some way. We have here balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. We also have here self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay, then we have here worry. Okay, Capricorn, what you worry about? We have here, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay, so you could be worried about something or someone around you. Maybe you're worried about a friendship. Because we have here fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe there's a challenge in a friendship. Maybe you're worried about this. Hmm. I'm going to read worry because I just want to see what the book has to say. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Well, may I turn right to self-esteem, self-esteem. So maybe I should read self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So I'm going to go ahead and read self-esteem. It says, it is easy to perceive others as being better than you. This is a trap of the ego. There is no one greater or lesser than you. There are only those who have learned how to reveal their gifts to a greater or lesser degree. Everyone is born with unique abilities of the soul. And just like snowflakes, no two are ever alike. And that's exactly what I was trying to say earlier when it comes to relationships. No two relationships are ever going to be alike, right? We have here, you have a unique perspective to share with the world and have come back this time to put your stamp on it. Perhaps you may not be aware or even in tune with your incredible gifted self. Because let me tell you something, Capricorn. You are very gifted. You are an inspiration. You are a motivation to the people around you. And I feel like you may not even know how much you influence those that are around you. You have so many gifts. Okay? It says, why not try to make a list of 10 aspects of yourself or abilities you possess that you love and hold in high regard? It is not always easy to write about yourself, but sometimes you need to be reminded just how special you are. And I hope I'm reminding you today, okay, Capricorn, because you are special. And I know it sounds cliche. They be like, oh, everyone ain't special. Yes, the hell everyone is special because everyone is different. There are no two people that are the same. All right. And that's why you're special. You have a, a specific purpose. Okay. But you got to release this fear. And live in your authentic truth, Capricorn. Okay, it says, remember that you did not come down to this schoolroom by accident. You have meaning and a reason for being. You are a treasure chest of incredible gifts and insights. Now is the time to celebrate you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because it was meant for me to read that card. When I tell you I flip right to self-esteem, because maybe I just needed to remind you how special you are, how gifted you are. And you need to remind yourself every day. Do the work. Do the assignment, y'all. Write down 10 things that you love about yourself. It's important that you celebrate you, Capricorn. Because you're awesome. You're amazing. You're wonderful. You're magnetic. You're inspirational. You're motivational. Like what? Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going, Capricorn. What can you add to that? Period. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for these messages. What needs to be released? Okay, what needs to be surrendered in order for Capricorn to, you know, tap into their gifts at this time? Okay, we have your surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Yes, Capricorn, you could even look like this. <laughs> you may like the color red. I feel like you're stepping out of the, 
the darkness into the light. Because you can see how she was like in the shadow. But now she's like stepping into the light. Or this could be you stepping from the light into the shadows. Take it how it resonates. You know, however you, you see the card. <laughs> so let's see. I'm getting stepped into the bad side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. From Dream Girls. Y'all seen that movie? Gonna take me right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Step into the bad side today. So let's see. Okay. So at the bottom, we have here surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So surrender to what is. We have here surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. We also have here surrender to effortlessness. And I love this card. Just look at how she is. You could be very flexible or you may like to do. I don't know what this is called. It's something when the people be swinging on these curtains. You may do this. You may be very flexible. But it says stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. So I don't know if someone trying to force you or you forcing somebody. But just, you know, let it flow. Okay, Capricorn? Then we have here surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. That spirit work its magic for you. Absolutely. You know, surrender to whatever it is, Capricorn. And release it to spirit and watch how things change. I feel like spirit has the the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> okay, has the final say in whatever this is. So just give it on over to him, okay? Or her. <laughs> or it. No. So that's it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I'm gonna close out this reading with my Angels of Abundance card to see. How you can bring more abundance in your life at this time, Capricorn. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. How can Capricorn, okay, bring more abundance? We have here release resentments about money. Hmm, that's interesting. My first time seeing this card. It says, yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting. But holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, of, instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. And this shift will attract, this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Okay, so release any resentments that you have about the financial system and money at this time. We also have your exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. Scratch too. Maybe yoga. Increase your flexibility, Capricorn. I feel like you are probably a gymnast and don't even know it. <laughs> but it says the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. So make sure you don't just exercise just to do it. Do something fun. Like if you like to dance, do dancing workouts, or even if you like to walk, like find a friend that you can go walking with. And last but not least, we have here do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. Excuse me. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush garden. Okay, Capricorn, so I really hope that these messages help you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you, Capricorn. Bye.